35.4 seconds was my best lap. I'm going to show it to you and then I'll break it down corner by corner. So as we start the lap heading down to the first corner, it's important we use the full width of the track on corner entry right up to the white line. This is because turn 1 is taken flat out, so with smooth, subtle steering, direct the cart towards a middle apex, riding over the red and white curb. On corner exit, direct the cart to the middle of the track. And this is very important because as the corner turns to the right for turn 2, it's important to lean your body weight to the outside, still keeping your foot pinned to the floor, leaning your body away from the corner and getting the cart to get over the red and white curb at the inside part. On exit, don't run too wide, keep the cart within this black line and focus on the right hand side to get two wheels over this inside curb which will minimize the meters and give you a good run and slingshot you as you prepare to negotiate the fastest part of the Brentwood track. This is all taken flat out, it's a relatively long straight which is going to consist of a double right hand sequence. So keep the cart all the way to the right hand side uh, of the track over here. Again, minimizing those meters, clip the inside apex for the first right hander. Can drift out slightly wide, but then make sure to come back to the right hand side for the second right hander, clipping the apex at the inside edge. And we're approaching the most important corner, which is the only corner you'd break for at Brentwood. Then the first reference point in preparation for breaking is just after this barrier on the left hand side ends. So as it ends, just about the second patch on the curb. Hit the brakes hard now, just locking the rear slightly so it gives you good rotation into this big curb at the inside edge. Use the full curb on this right hander and exit towards the left hand side of the track now where you'd want to go over the exit part of the curb. Keep the cart all the way to the left hand side of the track and with early turning and leaning your body all the way to the left hand side, keeping that foot pin to the floor, you're targeting a mid to late apex for this hairpin turn. Could have ridden the inside curb a bit more on this lap but nonetheless we do a decent enough job. The final part of the track is all about placement of the cart. Minimize those meters, keep the cart all the way to the left hand side, riding the first curb and now the second curb. Come out slightly to build that exit speed all the way to the final corner where you'd still keep it to the left hand side, veer off to the right and that completes a quick lap at Brentwood. The key to a quick lap is momentum. The moment you slide or drift your cart, you'll lose time. Turns one, two and three can be the trickiest to get used to. On the ideal line, you would take it flat out. However, to get to this stage and build confidence, start off by lifting for turn one. And over time, as you build the confidence and get used to the physicality, because you really need to lean your body to get good grip in these corners, you'll find your own rhythm and flow, and that will be the deciding factor between a good lap and a great lap at Brentwood. Let us know what techniques you use to get a good timing at the Brentwood karting track.